In the heart of the ancient world, along the banks of the majestic Nile River, a flourishing civilization emerged. A civilization whose lifeblood flowed not just from the Nile's waters, but from the bountiful flora that adorned its banks. Join us as we embark on a journey through time to explore the rich tapestry of plants that sustained and enriched ancient Egypt. The climate and unique geography of the Nile Delta offered a wide variety of plant species. Many of these plants served as sustenance for the ancient Egyptians and as valuable crops for trade. The Nile's consistent seasons allowed Egypt to sustain itself for centuries. As we delve deeper into the world of ancient Egypt's flora, we uncover not only the botanical richness, but also the cultural significance that these plants held. Join us on this captivating journey as we explore the flora of ancient Egypt, a testament to the ingenuity, spirituality, and enduring legacy of this remarkable civilization. One of the key factors that enabled the growth of this advanced society was the favorable climate of the Nile Delta. The Nile River, with its annual flooding, brought nutrient-rich silt that rejuvenated the soil, creating the ideal conditions for agriculture. The predictable flood cycle of the Nile allowed farmers to cultivate a wide variety of crops, ranging from grains like wheat and barley to vegetables like onions and garlic. The fertility of the Nile Delta was legendary, and it was often described as the gift of the Nile. In addition to crops, the Nile's waterways provided a natural irrigation system, allowing farmers to efficiently manage their fields. But the importance of the Nile extended beyond just agriculture. It was the lifeblood of the entire civilization, a source of drinking water, transportation, and sustenance for countless species of plants and animals. The Nile's consistent seasons allowed Egypt to sustain itself for centuries, and its banks teemed with a rich variety of flora. Yet, possibly the most iconic and versatile plant of ancient Egypt was the papyrus. Papyrus, scientifically known as Cyperus papyrus, was a tall sedge plant that grew in abundance along the water's edge of the Nile. Its slender stalks, topped with tufts of feathery leaves, reached skyward, creating lush green corridors along the riverbanks. The ancient Egyptians cherished papyrus for its many uses, some of which may surprise you. While it is widely recognized as a writing material, serving as the precursor to paper, the ancient Egyptians found numerous other functions for this remarkable plant. Papyrus was not just a medium for recording history, it was used to create sturdy ropes, durable sandals, and comfortable mats. The versatility of papyrus extended even further. Papyriform boats, crafted from the stems of the papyrus plant, were a common sight on the Nile. These boats served not only as practical vessels for transportation and fishing, but also as symbols of spiritual significance. They were often featured in paintings and reliefs and played a central role in ritualistic ceremonies. The papyrus plant, with its multifaceted utility, was a testament to the resourcefulness of the ancient Egyptians. But papyrus was just one element in the botanical mosaic that adorned the Nile Delta. The ancient Egyptians lived in harmony with nature, and the plants that surrounded them were not only sources of sustenance, but also integral to their culture and spirituality. One of the most important trees in ancient Egypt was the date palm, Phoenix dactylifera. Its sweet and nutritious fruits, known as dates, were a staple food in the Egyptian diet. The date palm not only provided sustenance, but also offered valuable resources. Its leaves were woven into baskets, mats, and even roofs for homes. The ancient Egyptians also used various parts of the date palm for medicinal purposes, demonstrating their deep knowledge of plant-based remedies. Alongside the date palm, the carob tree, Ceratonia siliqua, and the tamarisk tree, 
Tamarix SPP, were commonly found along the banks of the Nile. The carob tree, with its long, pod-like fruits, provided a nutritious food source. Carob pods were not only consumed as a sweet treat, but were also used as a unit of measurement for precious commodities like gold, earning them the nickname Egyptian gold. Tamarisk trees, on the other hand, were known for their salt-tolerant nature. They played a vital role in preventing soil erosion and improving the overall ecological stability of the Nile Delta. In addition to their ecological importance, tamarisk trees provided wood for construction and fuel. As we explore further, we encounter the rich variety of fruits that adorned Egyptian orchards. The earliest fruit tree cultivated in ancient Egypt was the fig tree, Ficus carica. Its sweet, pear-shaped fruits were not only delicious, but also symbolized fertility and abundance. The cultivation of figs dates back to the early dynastic period, showcasing the long-standing connection between the Egyptians and their fruit trees. Over time, other fruit trees found their place in Egyptian orchards. The apple, Malus domestica, was introduced, offering a crisp and refreshing alternative to the figure. The pomegranate, Punica granatum, with its jewel-like seeds, added a burst of color and flavor to the Egyptian diet. These fruits became not only culinary staples, but also symbols of vitality and prosperity. And during the era of the New Kingdom, the olive tree, Alia Europea, was introduced to Egypt. The cultivation of olive trees marked a significant culinary and economic development. Olive oil, extracted from the fruit, became a valuable commodity, used not only for cooking but also for lighting lamps and as an essential ingredient in cosmetics. As the ancient Egyptians diversified their orchards, they embraced the flavors and benefits of these fruits. Yet, the botanical story of ancient Egypt is not limited to its orchards and cultivated plants. The lush vegetation along the banks of the Nile was a testament to the adaptability and resilience of the plant kingdom in the face of the river's annual inundation. But the flora of ancient Egypt was more than just a source of sustenance and construction materials. It was deeply intertwined with spirituality and mythology. The acacia tree, Acacia SPP, held a special place in Egyptian culture and religion. It was associated with Horus, the falcon-headed god of kingship and the sky. The acacia's resilience in harsh desert conditions symbolized the divine protection and strength of Horus, the patron god of Egypt. The divinities Thoth and Seshat, often portrayed as scribes, were depicted inscribing the reign of the king into the trunk of a Persea tree, Persea Americana. This ritualistic act signified the recording and preservation of the king's legacy for eternity. The sycamore tree, Ficus sycamorus, was another species deeply connected to Egyptian spirituality. Known for its distinctive, broad leaves and wide canopy, the sycamore tree was associated with the goddess Izet, also known as Isis, the patron of the ritual of life. The sycamore's shade and life-giving properties were symbolic of the goddess's nurturing and protective nature. These spiritual connections between the people of ancient Egypt and the plant world reflected their profound reverence for the natural environment. As we reflect on the flora of ancient Egypt, we recognize that it was not only a source of sustenance and cultural significance but also a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of this remarkable civilization. Join us on this immersive journey as we continue to unravel the flora of ancient Egypt, revealing the threads of history, culture, and spirituality that wove together to create one of the most enduring and influential civilizations in history. To truly appreciate the significance of these plants, we must delve into the daily lives of the ancient Egyptians and understand how they harnessed the power of nature to thrive in the arid landscape of the Nile Delta. 
agriculture was the cornerstone of Egyptian society, and the annual flooding of the Nile was a highly anticipated event. As the river swelled with water and nutrients, it spilled over its banks, creating fertile silt deposits that transformed the surrounding land into a verdant oasis. The rich alluvial soil was perfect for cultivation, and the ancient Egyptians wasted no time in planting their crops. Wheat and barley were among the primary grains grown, serving as the staples of the Egyptian diet. These grains were not only consumed as bread and porridge, but were also used in brewing beer, a dietary staple that was central to social and religious gatherings. Onions and garlic, known for their flavor and medicinal properties, were cultivated alongside grains. The predictable flood cycle of the Nile allowed farmers to plan their planting, and harvesting with precision this mastery of the river's rhythms contributed to the stability and prosperity of Egyptian society. In addition to its role in agriculture, the Nile River served as a natural irrigation system. Canals were dug to divert water to the fields, ensuring that even areas farther from the riverbanks could be cultivated. The Egyptians were pioneers in the field of irrigation, employing innovative methods such as the shaduf, a counterweighted lever, to lift water from the river. The efficient management of water resources allowed the civilization to flourish in an otherwise arid environment. But the Nile River was not just a source of sustenance, it was the lifeblood of ancient Egypt, supporting not only agriculture, but also transportation and trade. The ancient Egyptians were skilled boat builders, and the Nile provided the perfect highways for their vessels. Boats of various sizes and designs crisscrossed the river, carrying goods, people, and ideas. Trade flourished along the Nile, connecting the different regions of Egypt and facilitating the exchange of commodities like grains, textiles, and pottery. This robust trade network allowed Egypt to access valuable resources from other regions of the ancient world, further enriching their culture and economy. The Nile River was not only a conduit for physical goods, but also for cultural exchange and the dissemination of knowledge. Scholars and scribes traveled along the river, sharing information and recording the history, religion, and scientific achievements of the civilization. It was this dynamic interplay of people and resources along the Nile that allowed Egypt to thrive for millennia. As we conclude our exploration of the flora of ancient Egypt, we are reminded that the civilization's greatness was not solely a product of monumental architecture or military conquests. It was also a testament to the profound connection that the ancient Egyptians had with the natural world. The Nile Delta, with its predictable floods and fertile soil, offered the perfect canvas for a civilization to flourish. And the plants that thrived along its banks, from the majestic papyrus to the humble date palm, were not just sources of sustenance but also threads in the rich tapestry of Egyptian culture and spirituality. Each plant carried a unique significance, whether through its practical uses or its role in religious rituals. The ancient Egyptians understood that their existence was intimately intertwined with the natural world around them. In their daily lives, they celebrated the bounty of the land, the life-giving waters of the Nile, and the sacred connection between the plant kingdom and the divine. It is through this lens that we can truly appreciate the flora of ancient Egypt, a vital and vibrant aspect of a civilization that continues to captivate and inspire us to this day. As we bid farewell to the captivating world of ancient Egypt, let us carry with us the profound lessons of harmony with nature and reverence for the gifts it bestows. The Nile Delta may have been the cradle of an ancient civilization, but it also serves as a timeless reminder of the enduring relationship between humanity and the natural world. The flora of ancient Egypt, a story of sustenance, spirituality, and a civilization that bloomed like the lotus in the Nile, 
will forever be etched in the annals of history.